Hello, my name is Benjamin Mel, Regional Sales Manager and Applications Engineer for Gallagher Fluid Seals. This is part four of our video series on the basics of O-rings. Chapters one through three are available to watch on the Gallagher website as well as YouTube. Today, we are going to discuss specific O-ring profiles. While a traditional O-ring cross-section has a circular profile, additional O-ring profiles and subcategories have evolved over the years to solve specific application challenges. We are going to review each of these profiles and their benefits, which include standard O-rings, cord rings, X-rings or quad rings, encapsulated O-rings, hollow O-rings, and D-rings. Chapters 1 to 3 of this O-ring video series provide information on the standard O-ring. As a review, an O-ring is a donut-shaped object, generally made from an elastomer, but can also be made in PTFE, plastic materials, and metals. O-rings are generally used in two design applications, static or stationary, and dynamic or moving. The conventional type of O-ring may be used in almost any application if the gland containing the seal is designed correctly and the proper size and material is chosen. A cord ring is a vulcanized O-ring made from extruded cord stock to create custom sized O-rings. The advantage of a cord ring is that no tooling is required to create an O-ring that may not be a standard AS568 size. Gallagher Fluid Seals maintains an extensive inventory of many different elastomers in different cross sections to manufacture custom sized cord rings. Cord rings can be made from the same elastomer as standard O-rings. Cord rings should only be used in static applications. Different types of bonding processes can be utilized to improve the strength of the bond, but it will never perform as well as a molded O-ring. An X-ring, also known as a quad ring, is a retrofit option for an O-ring and can outperform an O-ring in certain applications. The X-ring has four definitive sealing advantages over an O-ring. First, it has hidden parting lines or flash lines. The flash line on an O-ring is a line of excess material where the compression mold tool comes together and is always on the outermost diameter, which consequently is a sealing surface. On an X-ring, that flash line is in the valley between the outer two lobes, therefore it does not affect the sealing surfaces. An X-ring is more stable in dynamic applications and is also more resistant to rolling with its wider footprint. Spiral failure is common in dynamic O-ring applications in which torsion occurs. An X-ring is more stable in dynamic application and is also more resistant to rolling with its wider footprint. Next, the X-ring has great lubrication retention. The grooves on the inside and outside diameters of the ring retain lubricant, thereby lowering friction and extending seal life. And lastly, the multi-lobe design of an X-ring provides more sealing surfaces than an O-ring, all while using the same hardware configuration. With these multiple seal points on one ring, less squeeze is required to provide an effective seal. Less friction and wear will ultimately increase service life and reduce downtime. Encapsulated O-rings were developed for enhanced chemical resistance. An FEP or PFA exterior lining is pulled over an elastomer cord stock and bonded to form a solid ring. Doing so offers the excellent chemical resistance of PTFE with the elastic behavior of an elastomer. It should be noted though that the Teflon encapsulating material does have an impact on the elasticity of the O-ring. Additionally, because encapsulated O-rings are vulcanized cord rings, dynamic applications are not recommended. In cases where an encapsulated O-ring gives the chemical resistance necessary, but not the proper mechanical sealing characteristics required, 
an FFKM O-ring could be an option, although at a higher cost. Encapsulated O-rings will offer better sealing performance than a molded PTFE O-ring. Encapsulated O-rings have traditional elastomer cores, such as NBR, EPDM, silicone, and FKM. In application, care must be taken not to perforate or damage the Teflon jacket of the encapsulated O-ring, as the aggressive chemicals could subsequently attack and degrade the elastomer core. Hollow O-rings have long been used in enclosure applications and many other static applications. Because they lack material at their core, hollow O-rings have a very low closure force and can be used effectively in plastic enclosures to generate a robust seal. Hollow O-rings can be extruded, spliced, and vulcanized to form extremely large O-rings that would be too costly to mold. Their dimensions can easily be customized with no tooling cost, truly making them the economical alternative to molded products. These types of seals are often used as an upgrade from a solid, more traditional elastomer, where a softer durometer may have been used to seal. This upgrade to a hollow O-ring is particularly valued for equipment that is hard to reach or needs to last a long time between services. We see this often in telecommunications and electronic equipment installed at the top of high towers and poles. Hollow O-rings are suitable for the following. Low pressure static applications, applications where low closing force is required, applications with rough mating surface finish. They are not suitable for the following. High pressure applications, and dynamic applications. D-rings are designed to replace traditional seals in radial applications. With bi-directional sealing capability, D-rings provide exceptional sealing for static, reciprocating or oscillating, and radial seal applications. The rectangular base offers stability as the piston or rod oscillates, preventing the seal from rolling and the leaks or seal failures commonly associated with a rolled or twisted seal. Machine D-rings also eliminate the potential for leakage, which can appear at molded seal parting lines in dynamic applications. Machine D-rings frequently provide a cost advantage compared with traditional seals. Due to the unique D-ring manufacturing process, larger D-rings can be produced at a lower cost than comparable molded seals. Thank you for watching this video on O-ring profiles. Stay tuned for the next video in our O-ring series. Thank you.